Hello everyone, my name is I Don't Know Techno, and today I am covering a tech product, technically, that doesn't actually have anything to do with tech. And they are the blue light lenses in glasses. So I kind of wanted to talk about this for a while because I saw a video a few weeks ago on like YouTube Shorts, I think, saying that blue light glasses actually do not work and have been proven not to work. But I wasn't really sure about that, so I did my own research, and I just wanted to cover this today because... I think there's a lot of misinformation out there, but if you don't believe me, stick around. We're going to go through some actual credible sources along with some actual tests to see whether blue light lenses actually work or not. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first place I really wanted to look at was an actual study, like not just a, oh, well, we just think this or we just think that one that actually tested whether there was anything or not, like if there is any problem. So according to the National Library of Medicine, they did a test where they brought three groups together with 136 participants and did a test on all, all three of them. They had no len clear lenses, low level lenses, and high lenses, but they're all told that they had blue light blocking lenses. What they found, which is really interesting, and I did not expect, there was no evidence in that there's any difference between anything, whether it's eye strain or help with sleep or anything like that. They, there was no proof of any of that. A lot of the participants claimed that they got better sleep because of it. They still proved that there was no actual proof of that. There's no change in visual performance of sleep quality, alleviated eye fatigue, or conserved macular health. Which is kind of weird because I would not have expected that because even I felt like, and I don't know if this is just like a placebo effect or something like that, because I wear blue light lenses that thinking they were actually real, and I just did not know that they did not work. I, I think that's just really surprising in how there's kind of just this massive market on this. It's kind of like a massive scam just based off a few scientists like in 2015 that tried to prove this. And the thing is, this article it came out all the way back in 2017, and... For some reason, people still believe that it's real, even though we have other proof, you know, I even, I have some articles on here that are only from like even four months ago that are saying it's not true. So I'm just kind of in shock that how massive this scam has gone, basically, because it really is. It really is just kind of like a big corporate scam to try to get people to buy these cheap glasses that cost them like two dollars to make. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, blue light lenses are basically kind of more of a placebo effect and don't actually really do much. And people feel like that it helps basically with their dryness or their eye strain on screens and stuff like that. But they've proven that and they've also taken articles from, I've, I've looked at all their sources and one of their sources was the National Library of Medicine which was the first thing that we read. And they said how people, even though they use their screens all the time, the eye strain doesn't come from the blue light coming from the lenses. It comes more so from uh, not blinking. Because when you stare at screens for a long period of time, your brain kind of forgets to blink, I guess, which I didn't really realize until I read this too. And I understand that now because I get dry eyes if I'm working on a video for like a few hours and I'm just not thinking about it. And my eyes start to sting a little bit and I have to blink a few times. But most of the eye strain comes from just the fact that you are doing it to yourself. It doesn't actually have anything to do with the screen. It all It's all basically in your head, which is kind of crazy to think about that we really convince ourselves that it's more in our head than is actually real. Even today, news coverage also covered this, and they did an interview with Dr. Brienne, and he says that blue light is part of the natural normal light spectrum our eyes are exposed to. One of the big things that he said that I read was that daylight is a mixture of all different wavelengths of light together, which to us looks white. You're going to get way more blue light from daylight than you are going to from a screen. That being said, if you go outside and you go and you're hanging out outside for like an hour or two, you're going to get more blue light exposure in your eyes from this actual sunlight than you are from your screen, which is just insane. Except really shows how embedded this idea that blue light is harmful to us has gotten. I just, I don't know how these haven't really been regulated. I, I don't want to say regulated, because if I say regulated, then it makes it sound like 
you know, this is this is something that should be blocked. We shouldn't be having this here in my United States. But I think it's more something that I wish people knew more information about it. And I feel like the people that do know the information about it, but are still wearing the glasses, are just like, well, I, I just like how glasses look on me, and I just want an excuse to have the glasses to wear. And even though I know that it's proven that these are not actually what they say they are, they still help me sleep and stuff like that, so I have an excuse to wear these glasses even if I don't need glasses. So I got LASIK about two years ago now. I had really bad eyesight. I got LASIK and now I got 2020 vision. And they, whenever I was there, the lady told me that if I ever was to want to wear glasses again, that I should invest in the blue light lenses. So I think it's just, it's kind of crazy how even like these big optometrists and surgeons and stuff like that are convinced that this is true just because of how popular these are now. I mean, you can go on Amazon and these can range in price from like $10 all the way to like $200. And if you're paying $200 for a pair of plastic lenses, then don't. I'm sure there are other alternatives. I haven't really looked into any yet. I know there's these things called computer glasses that I found in my research, but I just, I didn't have, I, I've been researching this computer glasses versus blue light glasses. But I mean, I know blue light glasses are actually fake now and they do actually block the blue light I, I i'm not saying that they don't do that they do block the blue light but it's the fact that the blue light actually isn't harmful and that was more of a theory than a fact it's just a theory it was based off a theory a few years back that the blue light could be harmful to your eyes that your screen is emitting just because you're looking at it for so long because screen irritation headaches dizziness, insomnia were all big complications for people that were working on computers for super long periods of time, but they just don't really do anything. It's just not really that big of a deal. So I feel like people just need to be talking about this more. I think this needs to be a bigger thing that people worry about because it is it is basically just a ma na massive corporate scheme. Not just It's not just some small thing, you know? Millions of people every year probably pay for these glasses. Everybody thinks that's the way everything should be now. And they see this new product that can help them with this or that. It's kind of like snake oil in a way. Where a snake oil was made to basically say, Oh, well, if you have this illness, just use the snake oil and it'll fix this. But really, it was just olive oil or something like that. And it didn't really do anything. But people convinced themselves it did something until they eventually passed away with that illness. And it's the same thing here. People are convincing themselves so much that blue light lenses are real that they are tricking their brains into thinking that it's fixing this or it's fixing that. Even like in the studies, like if we go back to the National Library of Medicine study, if we go all the way to the bottom of the study, we see that people still thought that they felt improvements in symptoms of eye strain or eye fatigue, but in like one of the big reported and small improvements is sleep quality in people with self-reported insomnia after wearing high compared to low BB lenses. But we act they actually found in the end that there was no evidence to support that. I think that just shows the power of how good we are at convincing ourselves that we have something, that there is something that we need. Like with the snake oil, or like with this, or like, like with a bunch of things, basically. I feel like the blue light lenses are a big example of how if you see this one scientist talk about it, we're immediately gonna believe it's true. And there's no way it can be wrong. As we come to find out even a few years later, and it can all be disproved, but most of those stuffs are hidden and nobody really pays attention to that. They see that one study and never research it again because they just think, oh, well, this has to be true. And I think this really needs to be bigger. And it is kind of bigger because even like the NBC has covered this as recent as four months ago, they uploaded a video on their YouTube channel about it. But Northwestern ophthalmologist Dr. Paul Breyer says there's no scientific evidence that blue light filtering lenses preserve vision. The data shows that uh, blue filtered glasses really don't have an impact on certain things like eye strain, how well we see, how long we can use a computer, does it make us sleep better? In fact, a new international review of 17 studies looking into blue light filtering lenses found they may not reduce eye strain, and their potential effects on sleep quality were indeterminate. I mean, I know nobody's really watching NBC on YouTube, but I mean, this is really crazy how this whole thing has been blown out of proportion. 
and how everybody has just decided all to believe this. And there, I feel like even though there's a bunch of videos on YouTube that talk about it, it's just like nobody's really paying attention to those. And so I just want to come on my channel and talk about this because I feel like this is a bigger situation than people see it as. Because, I mean, these companies are making millions off selling you plastic glasses for, like, I don't feel scammed. Because I could have gotten a pair of just normal, or plastic lenses glasses compared to these glasses for $10. You know, and that would have, that would have been fine. Either way, I'm paying $10 just for the look now. Really. Which I didn't realize at the time, but now I really am just paying for the look because I have 20-20 vision, I don't need these. But I feel like a lot of people are paying a really high price for these high-end blue light lock blocker glasses. I mean, people are, some people are paying up to $100. Like, I'll have to, I'll look up some on Amazon and I'll have it up here and I'll show you. But some people are paying like $100 for these glasses and these companies are making them for like 20 to 30 bucks and basically scamming you. I feel like that's a really big issue. I mean, this isn't just some small thing. This is like a really big thing, especially when it's that big and there's scientific evidence not only to disprove it, but to completely like wipe it out it isn't just something that's like oh well they said this and this is just a theory we know factually now that this is not true we know that but these companies are still going and doing this and this is kind of just turned into a big corporate scheme to get as much money as possible out of these cheap ass glasses but yeah so i just want to talk about this today and i appreciate you all for watching i feel like this is kind of an important topic and i know we're a tech channel and I feel like these are technically a tech product, even though they aren't really tech based, but they're made for use with tech. But I really wanted to do more of exposing how the tech actually isn't, or the tech inside the lenses actually isn't real. But yeah, I appreciate everyone for watching and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys later.